Ferro Spirits out, and uh, Grubby continuing to use um, Chain Lightning actually to pretty good effect. Uh, this uh, Coda Beast will go down pretty quickly, even though it doesn't have a unit, and it's pretty worth taking down because it gets rid of that aura and the threat of it uh, later eating a unit. And Grubby actually with one really low grunt here that he did run out earlier, and uh, actually he, he heal waves it just to be able just after bringing it back in, and some really low peons here now from like. And the two low raiders as well, which will go down from rapid succession. But it looks like Grubby's um, coat is in a bit of trouble getting healed up again. But I think um, Light's going to continue to chase it down. But Grubby at 58 food compared to like 31 at this point. Some very, very nice play there by Grubby. Really managing to save a whole bunch of units. And actually, this uh, one uh, Kodo does get taken down eventually. But it looks like both the grunts that were, um, both the grunt that was chasing and the uh, one that was released will be taken down quite quickly. And Grubby's first tower is up now as well. And CR is now saying, "Why is he doing this to me?" I assume that means because that means um, because then uh, Grubby is going to have to, or sorry, CR is going to have to play some deciding matches, and it's CR versus Infi, which certainly isn't going to be easy for CR. And I will be impressed if he manages to take any games off him. And um, I think CR just uh, doesn't want the pressure of it all. But meanwhile, um, like I think pretty much is out of this game. Twenty food now compared to Grubby's fifty-seven. Really, really nice to play later by Grubby, Grubby putting down more towers as well. Uh, I'm not sure if he thinks that. Sierra, or the like maybe has an expansion or something and that's why he's holding on. He clearly doesn't, but uh, Grubby just wants to make sure that he has this one in the bag. Maybe it's just like thinks that he can uh, use his invulnerability potion to take down the farce here and uh, start sort of a grassroots comeback from there. And um, looks, meanwhile, um, uh, he, uh, the Blade Master has been caught in a bit of a bad position now. Uses an invulnerability potion, but nowhere he can go really from this point. And uh, Grubby just uh, going to take down this bestiary, but uh, looks like he probably will actually turn and take down the Blade Master first. Uh, yeah, looks like he will. Blade Master, ooh, almost getting a kill there. And um, Grubby being forced to use a heal scroll, but that Blade Master does eventually go down, and I imagine it could be GG any second now from like. So, really impressive game there for Grubby actually. A really thoroughly enjoyable game as well. Um, obviously, you don't see too much of Farseer Shadowhunter, but uh, when you do, it's always very exciting because it's so nice to see the mold bro um, broken from uh, the standard orc mirror. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and I think I'll probably do a 2 versus 2 game as well. Thanks.